atrazine is one of the world's most common pesticides. Over 80 million pounds of it were used on American crops just last year and it has been in use for 50 years. This harmful pesticide is an endocrine disruptor that can turn male frogs into female at concentrations as low as 2.5 parts per billion. Atrazine causes cancer in laboratory mammals and developmental problems in fish. Atrazine is one of the most commonly detected pesticides in rainwater, groundwater and tap water in the U.S. Hayes is testing the effects of chemicals like atrazine, a common herbicide. We have a whole family of animals where we've eliminated the female chromosome. Specimen 01. These animals that we know are genetic males have been exposed to atrazine for their entire life. And many of these genetic males now are turning into females. The one that's sort of remarkable is this pair. These are both males. The, the one on the bottom acting as the female, we affectionately refer to as Darnell. He's a genetic male that not only acts like a female, he lays eggs like a female. He, she, has been exposed to atrazine all of her, his, her life. I, I don't even really know how to reference it. This is Darnell's third clutch. So Darnell has... Atrazine is used on corn, sugar, sorghum, yams, rice, Christmas trees, and for lawn care. Atrazine exposure from contaminated surface water is also known to compromise fish and amphibian growth, behavior, immune function, and gonadal development. Hayes recently found that 10% of male frogs reared in atrazine-laced water turned completely into females. Strikingly, the level of atrazine used in the study was 2.5 parts per billion. Water in Ohio had up to 60 parts per billion. 15 years after fans stopped using atrazine, the chemical can still be detected there. Recent data showed atrazine present in 80% of drinking water samples taken from 153 public water systems. Research has linked atrazine exposure in utero to impaired sexual development in young boys genital deformations, microphallus. The evidence also suggests atrazine exposure contributes to a number of cancers, ovarian cancers, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, hairy cell leukoma, and thyroid cancer. Elevated concentrations of atrazine in drinking water have been associated with abdominal birth defects, including gastroschisis, the baby's intestines stick outside of the bo baby's body. Long-term exposure to atrazine induces insulin resistance and weight gain, lowers energy metabolism. And Syngenta, the chemical company that produces atrazine, has $11 billion in revenues and has a huge lobby to keep the atrazine on the market. If you want to know how Syngenta treats the researchers it employed to find out the effects of atrazine on the environment, watch this. And when did you begin to get a sense that the company was organizing a campaign uh, against you? What were the signs that you saw uh, uh, post the, the period when you be, uh, published your findings? Uh, before we published the findings and before the EPA became involved, the company tried to purchase the data. They tried to give me a new contract so that they would then control the data and the experiments. They actually tried to get me to come and visit the company to get control of those data. And when I refused, I invited them to the university. I offered to share data, but they wanted to purchase the data. And then they actually, <clears throat> as mentioned in a New York article, they actually hired scientists to try to refute the data or to pick apart the data, and eventually they hired scientists to do experiments that they claim refuted our data, and, and then that escalated to the company actually, Tim Pasteur in particular, um, and others from the company coming to presentations that, or lectures that I was giving to um, make handouts or to stand up and refute the data, and eventually even led to things like threats of violence. Um, Tim Pasteur, for example, before I would give a talk, would, uh, would literally threaten, whisper in my ear that he could have me lynched, or he would quote, said he would send some of his good old boys to show me what it's like to be gay, or he, at one point he threatened my wife and my daughter with, with sexual violence. Uh, he would whisper things like, your wife's at home alone right now. How do you know I haven't sent somebody there to take care of her? Isn't your daughter there? So eventually it really slipped into some you know, pretty, pretty scary tactics.